Welcome back to another episode of Ballin' With, guys. Come to a final conclusion. Drum roll, please. We are finally down to the last team on the list of 32 teams. I'm a Washington fan, so this is pretty um, – I'm used to this. I'm always scrolling down on any Bleacher Report, ESPN article, or any team. I'm scrolling down to the bottom for Washington. Um, you know, we're one of the bottom teams in the league, but we're one of the better teams. We just got bought – uh highest value team you know in the world um <clears throat> my boy josh harris and then bought the team up for about six million dollars uh along with magic johnson and company um so that's on the up and up with the team i feel like we are uh going to be like the new lakers guys we're going to be a winning atmosphere winning everything but with that being said let's see how many wins will the commanders get this season and they have us at six and a half wins guys uh, we just did the six and a half for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I feel like this six and a half is way more valued than for Tampa Bay. Um, six and a half wins, guys. I am a firm believer. We went eight and eight last season, so we already have a better record than what they're projecting us. So that's already a, a, a tall tale sign right there. Um, and we're just a better overall football team. We have Eric Bieniemy from the Super Bowl winning Kansas City Chiefs. Uh, coming back, coming over and running our offense. Uh, we have uh, a solid three trio receivers, Curtis Samuel, Jahan Dotson, led by Terry McLaurin. Uh, I, I would say we're top five in the trio of receivers in the league. We have a two um, headed running back. Brian Robinson was a rookie last year. He is going to make a name for himself this season. Antonio Gibson um, is one of the hybrid backs that everyone is looking to have on a team, and he can slide out to receiver as well. So we got a lot of playmakers, uh, and Sam Howe is a big question. I think he's going to do pretty well. Um, I don't know, MVP-type level, um, but as long as he makes plays, keeps the drive extended, um, and keeps us in game to win games, that's all we can ask for. That's all I can ask for. A lot of people ask for too much. A lot of people was talking about Heineke, talking about win, talking about the last players, talking about drafting a new player. I'm like, bro, we have Sam Howe. Let's see how he goes at least. Um he has a strong arm. He's similar to like Russell Wilson coming out, uh, you know, in college as well. The as, as far as size statue, uh, as far as arm as well, um, and he's pretty mobile. So I like him. Uh, I think he's kind of faster than Heineke. He has a strong arm than Heineke. So he's puts the ball on the money. The team is supporting him, and let's see how that carries out this season. Um, I think we should beat the Arizona Cardinals week one. Um, no brainer to me. They uh I think they just traded release caught McCoy. They have Josh Dobbs and a rookie quarterback. Uh I think we played Josh Dobbs before when they put when he, excuse me, when he played for the Tennessee Titans. Excuse me again. Uh it was a pretty good matchup, but I think we are familiar with him. Chase Young is back in the lineup. Our defense is stout. Uh they're gonna get to that boy. Even if they don't play him, they're gonna get to the rookie. They only have Connor, they trade Isaiah Simmons, they only have Buda Baker, uh and and um and James Connor, the running back. I do think we're going to beat the Denver Broncos. Uh, I don't know. think they'll have Jerry Judy. Russell Wilson is going to have to get those passes out. Our offense, our defense is going to be expecting that. And I think our offense uh, can put up a little bit more points than their offense as well. Um, I think we do lose to the Buffalo Bills week three. It's going to be a tough matchup. Um, so just, we're not ready for them yet. Uh, but they will be Von miller Uh I think he's spent the first four games of the season. And we can beat the Buffalo Bills. That will give us a tall tale sign as well for the season, what it will indicate how they're playing, coming in hot, coming in smash mouth football. Are we hungry enough to, with all the new changes and everything, we got to set a tone for ourselves. I do think we lose to the Eagles as well. Uh, we dropped two and two. I think we beat Justin Fields and the Bears. As long as we can, can contain him on the outside, contain some of the big plays that they do, uh, I think our deep. Our offense run game can go downfield, put some points on the board. I only get a field goal, some touchdown, almost every other touch. T every time you touch the ball going down the field, you're gonna you're gonna win games. It's putting up more points than the other team. I think we can beat the Falcons. I think we can beat them. That should be an easy game for us. That will make us uh, four and two to start the season. I think we will split with the Giants. Um, I think they take this one. We will be four and three. Go to four and four. Get swept by the Eagles, and that's when we reevaluate re ourselves from being four and two to four and four. Okay, now we have to pick it back up in high gear. We beat the New Orleans, the New England Patriots. I think that will be an easy win for us. 
tough but easy win. That should be a win in the W column as a count for me. Uh, the Seattle Seahawks will be a great, tough matchup. I do think Seahawks can beat us, but uh, I'm going to say we beat the Seattle Seahawks this game. We always have a tough matchup versus them in the playoffs, even going to the wild card. We always get knocked out by them. Um, and they will have a great team as well. They will be uh, better than a lot of people that think this year as well. And so will we. But we beat them. Uh, that will bring us to 6-4. and four. We beat the Giants again uh, to make it a 7-4. and four. And we back on track of controlling what we want for our season. 7-4 and four, right here, midway of the season. That's over the 6.5, guys. So I definitely see winnable games with the Cardinals, the Broncos, the Bears, the Falcons, the Giants. We can sweep them and we can um, – Split or we can lose both. I don't think we're going to beat the Eagles. We can beat them, though. And I think we will split versus the Dallas Cowboys or we can sweep the Dallas Cowboys. I think we can beat the Rams. And then we have the Jets, Dolphins, and 49ers. That's going to be the toughest matches for us this season. But uh, let's trickle down. We was 4-4 uh, four and four, um, here, right, I believe, 2, 3, 4, 4, and 5. Hold up. 2-0, two 2-2, and two and two, 4-2, and 4-3, 4-4, four and four, okay. 5-4, and 6-4, four, and 7-4, four, and four, again, 8-4, and four, we're going to beat Dallas Cowboys on Thanksgiving. 8-4 and four is very generous for me as a uh, Commanders fan. I don't think that will happen. So either 8-4 and four on the high end or 6-6 six and six on the low end. 4-6, uh, and six, I don't think was going to happen, but... Um, Either six and six or eight and four at this point by um, Thanksgiving. Um, eight and six, eight and seven. We lose to Miami Dolphins. We beat the Rams nine and seven here. Four and four, five and four, six four, seven four, eight and four, eight and five, nine and five here versus the Rams. We win. Nine and six, nine and seven, ten and seven. When we can finish the win the season with ten wins, almost four wins over the expected win total. And guys, I do have a. I'm gonna actually show you. I have a ticket open too for. Um, I don't have my bookmarks on at this. I use Safari. Um. I'll pull that up as well. But I have $500 on Commanders to win. Um, I'll pull up on my phone, too. Uh, to win six and a half games, this is very doable. Uh, I do say they are at at least nine and ten wins, uh, eight wins, if not seven. If not, that's it right there. We're going to at least win seven games. Like I said, we won eight last season. We're not going to go backwards. We're going to go forward or if not stagnant. So at least eight to nine. The ten wins, I think we can do that with – the Eric Bietemi led offense this season. Um, so look forward for that guy, Sam Howell. Our defense is coming back better. Um, long as our defense can not give up as many pass yards and pass touchdowns and those big plays, then I think we will be pretty decent and well off. Um, and, guys, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. I just wanted to show you the bet I do have in here for Washington Commanders. Commanders. Uh, if you want to see right here over that six and a half mark right there where my finger is total over and what is that mm, 500 to win 500 that's a pretty straight bet i was looking at all of these win total props before i made this bet and then my team uh i think they gave us a little short end of win total so i was like why not take advantage of it we had eight wins last season. Could have been nine, uh, and they're dropping us down like we're just in the back half of the team because of Sam Howe and the uncertainty of, with him. But, guys, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. I can't wait for the NFL season to start. Please comment. Please like. Please share these videos. Uh, I just did 32 NFL teams um, projecting their win total for every schedule, for every game. Uh, we will be doing recaps at the end of the year, and we will be doing more highlights, more uh, sports challenges, more sports bets more uh, everything, guys. And make sure you tune in for when we do highlights for the high school athletes. 
around the area for basketball and football for the fall and winter season. We're going to put some athletes on the map. Guys, so make sure you follow the journey. Again, like, comment, subscribe. We're out. Commanders, take